Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy to have you here for the part two of the videos uh, to show you how to use my tea bag embellishment. So I have separated them into uh, two piles because I plan to make a blue and a purple journal. So I will use all this one in my little project. So I will just keep that on the side and I have put those that I can use uh, in my botanical journal or in uh, some other project here. So let's get started and make something first. So first of all, I want to use this belly band in my botanical journal. So I will need to find a page. This is my flip out pocket where I have uh, my videos from last week. Uh, this is the back side of the envelope. Let's see how where I can put this. Oh, yeah. How gorgeous this is. You see? Wow, I love that. Okay, so what I will do. It's slightly uh, bigger than my page. So I will just fold the top and the bottom and glue here and here okay so i will and i will just put some glue on the top and on the bottom and i will put that in my journal and i will try to center it very nice okay Let's adjust that properly. And then I have uh, some botanical flashcard here that I can just slide under my belly band really quick and easy. Okay. So let's that dry. It will take a moment. And there we have the belly band. Okay. So really nice, really quick, really easy. Okay. So with this one, I want to make a flip out. Um, and I will make that. Um, let's go behind. Let's find a nice page. No, I don't like the contrast with that. We have a pocket here. Oh, maybe here. Yeah, blue and green are good together. Okay, so I will glue that. And uh, here you will have a t um, flip out. We can put a message here, uh, a stamp image or something, and I will glue this one here, and I will glue this one to make a pocket on this side. So. See, this is the perfect side here. So I will take my decorage cutter. I will cut. So this is from Tim Holtz. I will put that link in the description box for you to check out if you want. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice and quick. And then you can just glue your journal space here. Really quick, easy quick. Uh, we can ink around the edges to have a bit of interest. And 
and that's it done we have something in our journal which is uh, interactive and it doesn't require a lot of material it was just a napkin tea bag school glue and a piece of paper and you have a flip out a journaling space and a pocket yeah. and this will goes perfectly inside so next let's see this one i can make a nice pocket in a clear page so let's see oh that is so beautiful here right so neat and i will apply my pocket here so i will glue on three sides on the edges and on the bottom how cool is that and just on the ribbon, I will add a little bit of fabric fix. Yeah. Yeah. Make it more. Okay. Nice. Down. So here we have uh, a nice size of pocket. And we can put that gorgeous no it's too wide so maybe oops la. this one is uh maybe a bit wider also yeah it's too wide so so what do we can what can we put inside this one will be good i will let that dry first and then we can put something like that in our pocket okay so let that dry for a moment before so next i want to make a journaling card out of this one look at how gorgeous this bird napkin is it is so neat so nice and i really love that and i think i will use a book page for that so let's see do i want a white book page or do i want a coffee dyed book page i think i want a coffee dyed book page and then yeah yeah i will just double my paper because i think it's not sturdy enough if i want to sew yeah so i will do that okay so let's glue and I will put my bird inside here. I will glue that in three sides and I will make a pocket on the side. Or, huh, let's see. Oh, I will tear. Yeah, I will do that. It's really easy to tear your tea bag so what I will do is I will tear my bird nicely trying to keep a nice edge I'll remove a little bit more in the bottom to get this um, plain tea bag for 
here. Okay, that will be nice. Okay, I will do that. <laughs> Okay, so a green label. I can take a piece of music paper underneath. This is um, this is paper. Okay, I was checking if it was something like sticker or paper, and it is paper. Okay, that don't use a lot of my washi. And I feel that like I can use this one here, which is a bit goldish. That will be nice. Just a little bit. Yeah, okay, so I will just have some help of my glue stick to adhere it properly. Uh, let's put my pin on my glue. Otherwise I will have to unstick it again. Uh, it's boring to have the glue uh, clog every time you want to use it. I will go from this way. Okay. How is that? How cute. Okay. Very nice. So now I will uh, wait to dry and then I will stitch it in my sewing machine. Okay. I want also to use this one in this journal because there is green and I really love that. So where could I put that? Maybe here. Yeah, because we have some green here and green here that will be nice. And maybe I could, hmm, shall I want? Mm, no, if I put like that, we won't see it. And I want it to uh, to pick through. So maybe I put it on the edge here and then we'll have a tech spot here. So I will glue this side and this side. So I will use my fabric tack because this is fabric. So I put this side and this side. 
and I will go just on the on my lace. Here. Oh, sorry, I'm not in frame. And then we will have a tuck spot here to put something nice. And this time we can use this packaging card that I have. So let's trim the edges nicely because I don't, I didn't do a very good job. Mm, I think I will go straight for this one because I don't want to waste too much. So let's see. I don't know why I'm not able to get a uh, straight line with scissors. I just can't. It's really uh, annoying, but it is what it is. And I just can't help myself. It's not possible. So let's do that. And I will round my corner. Okay, so we have a nice journal card. And on the back side, as it is um, as it is plain and it is white, I will just Add some ink with my double. Oh, I don't like this noise. It's creepy sound. <laughs> okay, so you see it's already much, much, much better. You can go back with a stencil. You can add a little stamp on this side, which I will do the word correspondence so i will hide the word address so i will put some masking tape on the word address and i will just keep the correspondence word to show Showing a little bit, I did. Yeah, nice, cool, nice and cool. And now we can put our card right into our journal. <laughs> In the good direction, of course, that better. How nice is that? Cool, cool, cool. So cool. Really happy with that. Okay, so we have made uh, several things. Uh, maybe I will show you a round one. Okay, so mm, let's make the butterfly which can uh, really make a nice addition in a page, which is quite plain. And I will make some, uh, I will put some lace or something on the back of it. Let's <music>
Okay, so where do I want my butterfly to go? Okay, I have sewn around uh, my bird with some messy uh, circle. Uh, I have come two times around it. So I will glue it in the bottom of these pages, leaving a tuck here. So I will glue this side here and the bottom side as well. Press that down. Okay. You see the difference? We can see better the... the Okay, so let's have a look of all the ephemera that we did today uh, in uh, 
40 minutes around, something like that. So we'll have first, it was the belly band. This is the one we did in last week's video. Today we did this belly band here. I will change this card because it's not the right color, but we have a nice belly band here, which is very good, I love it. Then we have a pocket here. Really nice also. And then we have, uh, where is it? Uh, here. We have another tuck here. And maybe I will add a little cluster here to finish it, to embellish. Then we have uh, our butterfly, circle butterfly tuck here, which is a really nice page with the border, green border on the stamping here. Then we have our little bird pocket here. And in the next two pages, we have our flip out pocket, flip out here with journaling space and pocket on the back side. And do we have something else on the back of the journal? I don't think so. So let's time we will uh, concentrate on the back side to put something in here. Yes. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I wish you a very good crafty day. Uh, I hope you will make some tea bag embellishment with me uh, following along my two videos for this series. And I um, encourage you to uh, follow my channel, to subscribe and hit the bell button to get the notification on when I upload new content. Please leave me a comment and like this video. You can share it on Facebook. You can share it on Instagram. Uh, please uh, spread the word and I wish you a very good day. Bye bye and I see you soon.